Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us continue to behold Jesus and his revelation to us as the light and glory of all nations and the salvation of all peoples. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass as Jesus comes to reveal himself to us as the one who feeds us with his word and with his body and blood. Let us now be sorry for our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. 
Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through your Son raised up your eternal light for all nations, grant that your people may come to acknowledge the full splendor of the Redeemer, that bathe evermore in his radiance, they may reach everlasting glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we love God because He first loved us. If anyone says, I love God, but hates his brother, he is a liar. For whoever does not love a brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. This is the commandment we have from him. Whoever loves God must also love his brother. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world, and the victory that conquers the world is our faith. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O oh God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. From fraud and violence he shall redeem them, and precious shall their blood be in this sight. May they be prayed for continually, Day by day shall they bless him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Please stand. The Lord has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord.
Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and news of him spread throughout the whole region. He taught in their synagogues and was praised by all. He came to Nazareth, where he had grown up, and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today, the scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in the light of our celebration last Sunday of the Epiphany of the Lord, and in view of our celebration this coming Sunday of the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord, we reflect this week more deeply on the revelation of Jesus. We try to answer through the readings of this week the question, who is Jesus? Who is Jesus for the world? Who is Jesus for us? Who is Jesus for me? And our readings today give us one answer. Jesus is the Christ. And we are so used to calling Jesus as the Christ. We call him Jesus Christ, Jesus Christo. When we say Christ, Christos in Greek, or from the Hebrew, Messiah, Messiah, it means the Anointed One of God. And in our Gospel today, by reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, and by saying these words of the prophet Isaiah is fulfilled in your hearing, Jesus confirms and reveals himself as the Christ. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. Being Christ means being the anointed one. And God anoints us through the Spirit. And so Jesus, as the Christ, is the anointed one of God by the Holy Spirit. And because Jesus is anointed by the Spirit, then the works of Jesus are the works of the Spirit. That is why after saying, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed me, 
Then Jesus says, from the book of the prophet Isaiah, to bring glad tidings to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives, recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Ang hinirang ng Diyos ay napupuspos ng Espiritu ng Diyos. At ang napupuspos ng Espiritu ng Diyos ay gumagawa ng mga gawa ng Espiritu. The Anointed One of God does the works of the Spirit, the works of goodness, of truth, of justice, of honesty, of compassion, of mercy, and of love. Makikita natin ang tunay na hinirang ng Diyos kung ang Kanyang ginagawa ay, gina- ay, ay, ay ang mga gawa ng Espiritu ng Diyos. And because one who is anointed by God does the works of the Spirit, then He is able to save. He is the Christ, the Messiah. But one whose works are contrary to the Spirit is definitely not the one anointed by God. And that one cannot save. He will just bring more harm. He cannot save. Sino ang tunay na makapagliligtas? Yung hinirang ng Diyos na gumagawa ng mga gawa ng Espiritu. Kapag ang ginagawa ay hindi gawa ng Espiritu, hindi yan hinirang ng Diyos. At ang isang hindi hinirang ng Diyos, hindi rin makapagliligtas. My dear brothers and sisters, When we were baptized, we are also anointed by the Spirit. Kaya bahagi ng binyag ay ang pagpapahid ng langis, ng krisma. We are also anointed with the Spirit. And because of that, we are filled with the Holy Spirit. Are our works and actions driven and inspired by the Holy Spirit? Yun bang ating mga ginagawa, yung ating pagkilos, ay kakikitaan na tayo'y napupuspos ng Espiritu Santo. In our first reading today, St. John talks about loving God and loving others. And he says that we could not say that I love God if I hate others. Because saying that I love God and I hate my neighbor is a liar. And one who lies is not anointed by the Spirit. Because lying is not the work of the Spirit. Our first reading also tells us that if we love God, then we also obey His commandments. And so one who is anointed by God obeys the commandments of God. Someone who does not obey the commandment of God, someone who does not believe in God, someone who disrespects others, someone who kills, who steals, who is not faithful, someone who lies and and is dishonest, is definitely not anointed because he does not follow the commandment of God. My dear brothers and sisters, just as Jesus worked and acted 
according to the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, let us also do our daily tasks and live our lives inspired and driven by the Holy Spirit. Like Jesus, let us live as the anointed ones of God. Let us allow God to work in us and through us. Let us allow the Spirit to permeate our lives so that our works and actions may constantly be inspired and driven by the Holy Spirit. Please stand. We now turn with confidence to the Father, whose Son Jesus proclaimed the year of favor at the synagogue in Nazareth. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be guided by the example and teachings of Jesus Christ in the preaching of the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That those in government may be mindful of their obligation to show true concern for the poor and the neglected of our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may have the courage to take necessary steps to make our lives conform to the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the sick may experience the Lord's healing comfort through our care and support. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may obtain eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people we promised to pray for and the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty God, you sent your Son, Jesus, to give his life that we might be free. Save us through his merits and restore our world to harmony and peace with you who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. 
And when He appeared in our mortal nature, You made us new by the glory of His immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth, earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those invited to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, 
our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. Nais po naming ipabatid sa lahat na dahil sa dumadami ng cases ng COVID-19 at upang tiyaking din ang kaligtasan nating lahat ay hindi po matutuloy ang pagdalaw ng imahe ng Duesto Jesus na Sareno dito sa Manila Cathedral ngayon at bukas. Ito po ay upang tiyakin na tayong lahat ay ligtas. Ang ating pong pagdidibusyon sa mahal na pong Jesus na Sareno ay maari nating ipakita sa ibang paraan, lalong-lalo na sa ating pananalangin, sa ating pagmamalasakit para sa kaligtasan ng bawat isa at sa ating mga personal na pagsasakripisyo bilang pagpakikibahagi din sa mga pagsasakripisyo ni Jesus para sa ating kagalingan at sa ating kaligtasan. Naasahan po namin ang inyong pangunawa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.